receivers, no defense. He was having a good year and got COVID, missed the game, and was not the same for the rest of the season, to the point where we speculated, maybe he has COVID fog. And then he came out weeks later and said, I just haven't felt right. And after that experience last year, he still went through the protocols only for the unvaccinated, where I thought he was winning the race. Opening the door, Bill Belichick said the door was then open. This is the result. Well, he, he it opened up Pandora's box, right? And for this organization, and being in the National Football League that will cut a first rounder, cut a second rounder, cut anybody on the football team, and nobody's ever safe. Bob? Here's the thing I'll say. First and foremost, uh, Mac Jones won the quarterback job. Uh, now, why they cut Cam Newton? Whether it was that Cam Newton asking to be cut if he didn't win the job because we knew that Cam Newton played so well in the preseason, that I don't know. But the one thing I think we can surmise from the tweet by Adam Schefter is that Mac Jones won the starting quarterback job. Now, why does the vaccinated or unvaccinated play, play into it? I'm not sure. Just strictly sticking from a football standpoint, though, I think we can surmise, and I think it, it's pretty easy, that Josh McDaniels, who's the offensive coordinator, and Bill Belichick, who's the head coach, have chosen to go with Mac Jones, which is the choice I thought they should have made all along. Now, as we fast forward with Cam Newton, where does Cam Newton go? Because if he doesn't want to be a backup in New England, where is he going to be a backup? Where is he going to be even, even challenged for the starting job right now? Uh, to me, that's a question that I, hopefully Cam Newton and his camp have figured out. I don't know if that, I don't quite understand why you cut him though. Because you have Brian Hoyer and, and you have Jared Stidham. Are you saying that Jared, that Brian Hoyer is going to be your backup quarterback? Did Cam Newton ask to be cut? Like these are questions that I'm still a little confused as we get this breaking news live right now. But I think yeah. the one thing I'm not confused about Molly uh, and guys is that K uh, Mac Jones won the starting quarterback job in mm -hmm. New England, which he should have. For some reason, I, I don't know why my mind just goes to COVID. And, and maybe that if you, you need your backup to always be available and with protocols, if someone hasn't been vaccinated, maybe you need someone that could be more reliable and can't miss five days. I want to go back to what you said. And then obviously I want you guys to jump in because you said Boog, that you felt Mac Jones should have been the starting quarterback all along. Tell me why. Because Mac Jones gives Josh McDaniels the offensive coordinator and Bill Belichick the head coach to run the offense that they're more consistent and more comfortable with, similar to what they ran with Tom Brady. And if you go a step further, how does Mac Jones play the position? He throws the football with accuracy and timing and he, make, and he makes great decisions. Max, you said yourself, those are two of the most important components of playing the position. Bill Belichick told Mike Reese earlier today in the press conference, what's gonna go into making this job? Consistency and playmaking. Consistency is not Cam Newton. Cam Newton has been anything but consistent outside of 2015. So all along, when you looked at all the factors, everything pointed to Matt Jones being the quarterback. Now, we still get amazed because we, as older people sitting on this panel and, and on national television, we think back to Cam Newton of 2015. That guy doesn't exist anymore. The MVP doesn't exist. He's wildly inaccurate with the football and he's inconsistent. So all along, Molly, I thought Matt Jones gave this team the best chance to win because he's got playmakers, the two tight ends, the two wide receivers they signed in the offseason. He's got a tremendous offensive line. The defense is going to be better with Hightower back. I still need to see what's going on with Gilmore at the cornerback spot. But overall, Matt Jones is a plug-and-play guy with all the weapons around him. So I thought he was going to win the job regardless of whether Cam Newton was cut or not today. And, Book, I agree with you to a certain degree. Like, I, I, I thought up to the point where Cam Newton had to miss that time that he didn't do anything to lose that football, the, uh, lose his, that quarterback job to Matt Jones. But what he did do was open up Pandora's box, and Mac Jones took advantage of the situation. He went out in those joint practices. He, he, he performed in each one of those practices. Somebody said he completed 18 uh, passes in a row. Listen, unless you're throwing routes on air, sometimes it's even hard to do that on routes on air because you have people who don't want to look the ball in all the time. But that's amazing to me. But what, what, what do right. coaches want their players to do? They want them to take things from the practice field to the game field. That's what Mac Jones did, and I'll say, you look at that last preseason game, Cam Newton didn't look sharp. 
I told you, he was throwing outside the numbers. He was skipping passes. Passes are low. And I told you, I did not like that interception that he threw uh, at all. So I thought Mac Jones won this job the last week and a half or last week, not from the start. Um, Mac Jones, you, you made a reference book earlier to the most important things for a quarterback. He, I would just say arm strength and accuracy, those things are prerequisites. You know, you have to be able to make all all the throws, you have to do it at a certain level of consistency. And then beyond that, you have some extra. But Mac Jones certainly has the requisite arm strength and accuracy. And once you have that, really what's the most important thing? Decision making. The speed of the decisions and the quality of the decisions. And one thing about Mac Jones was he came to the Patriots, to Bill Belichick, as advertised. He came, went from Saban to Belichick as advertised, which is he made really good decisions really quickly, including Boog, you mentioned it earlier. What plays not to try to make? He has appears to have yes. a, a, a wisdom beyond his years. And the fact that the Patriots have this kid with the 15th pick in the draft, Belgic didn't have to move up. Didn't, didn't have even to have to trade up. Get him or didn't have to like lose that. draft capital or nothing. It right. tells you something when Bill Belichick spends a first round pick on a quarterback. That tells Absolutely. you something. The value is too great to ignore. And all the guaranteed money, which he normally doesn't do in the offseason. Let's bring in the gentleman that uh, broke this for us and has much more information. That would be the one and only Adam Schefter. Adam, give us the latest on this decision by the Patriots to cut Cameron Newton and make Mac Jones the starter. Well, first of all, you heard Mac say the Patriots using a first-round pick on Mac Jones. And I would say that the 49ers, when they traded away three first-round draft picks, moved up with the idea that they were comfortable taking Mac Jones, mm. but that they would do their due diligence into Trey Lance and Justin Fields and wound up falling further in love with Trey Lance before they took him, leaving Mac Jones to slide all the way to New England at 15 without the Patriots having to give up any additional first-round picks. And from the moment Mac Jones stepped in there this summer, he looked like he was a guy ready to take over. He led eight preseason drives this summer, eight. Every one resulted in either a field goal or a touchdown. There was not a single drive this preseason that he initiated that they didn't score on. He impressed coaches with their accuracy. Spoke to one head coach last week who told me that he thought that Mac Jones could be and would be a Pro Bowl quarterback in this league for 10 years. And I'll be honest, I fully thought that he was going to wind up as the starting quarterback on opening day. What I didn't expect was that the Patriots today would release Cam Newton. But what that tells you is they are so sure of Mac Jones that they felt like it would be unfair to have Cam on the roster. They've got Brian Hoyer, a capable backup there in reserve. And so rather than put Cam in a position that might be a little bit awkward, they thanked him and said, we are ready to go with the youngster. The new Patriot era begins now. We're not wasting another second. And so they turn over everything to Mac Jones, which was coming, which was coming, and everybody could see it was coming. The only question was, was it going to be week one or two? But they decided, obviously, Bill Belichick did, that this was the time. And so Cam Newton is now going to be a free agent. Mac Jones is going to take over as the starting quarterback in New England. And obviously, it's a significant day in Patriot football history. Wow. Adam, but why not keep Cam as the backup? Why go to Brian Hoyer? Do you think this was purely a football decision? Well, it's a situation where you have to understand the situation um, where it, it might have been tough for him to be a backup. Think about a former NFL MVP mm -hmm. now backing up a rookie, the dynamics of that. And so they decided, again, I think, hey, let's do Cam a favor here. He doesn't have to, to subject himself to that. And if he wants to go see if there's another job out there for him, let him go do that. Look, someone's going to get hurt at some point this year. And obviously Cam Newton would figure to be the top available quarterback on the list for anybody right now. Although it's going to be difficult to come in and learn offense. I just think that they thought, we've seen what we need to see in Matt Jones. There's no sense in having anybody else around here that is a threat, that is a former MVP. We're going with the young guy who we've been blown away by, who's been better than we thought. 
Cam, thank you for your service. We're going to let you go hit the free agent market. Adam, how much of this do you think from Belichick, and I mean using a first-round pick on a quarterback, spending all the money in free agency, going with the with the young guy to start the season, is motivated that by all that happened last year, including Brady winning the Super Bowl, the Patriots not making the playoffs, because I look and think no rookie quarterback has ever led a team, even to the Super Bowl, let alone won one. And in New England, I assume that's what they anticipate every year. That's what the goal is. Well, look, they've seen enough from Mac Max to think that he gives them the best chance to win in the short and long term. Mm -hmm. And there's no reason to wait any further. And they went to Tom Brady at a time where he was very young in his career when they had a former number one overall pick on the bench. And by the way, now that I say that, I think they might have learned something from that example. That was not an easy situation to navigate. They've been through something similar where the young quarterback takes over for the former number one overall pick quarterback, and it lasted a season, and they moved on from Drew Bledsoe. And so maybe having been through that, they draw something.